Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. So we're going to look today at uh, the Texas Power Catastrophe. Whose fault is it? And I got a lot of information. with Chris Saliza. So I suggest you um, subscribe to his channel. It's a very informative uh, piece of work. Now the Texas electric power catastrophe, who's to blame for that? The Texas governor, Greg Abbott, uh, says wind turbines, but it seems like they might be part of a solution. Um, or is it the Texas Grid Electric Reliability Council of Texas called ERCOT? Um, those managers are Bill Mangus and the uh, chairman, one of whom lives in Michigan, the other lives in Cologne, Germany. So, um, or is it the far-right GOP strategy for government, which is, uh, number one, less government oversight, and number two, leaving responsibility to the states, or in Texas government's case, it's leaving responsibility uh, with the grid managers and with little oversight from Greg uh, Abbott's uh, administration. Um, just like 45's business management style, create the dream or the building and um, hey, subscribe, do it now. Go ahead. Leave responsibility and blame to the project managers. I created this, they screwed it up. It's like parents asserting that because they birthed a child, it's the child or its caretakers who are responsible for the child's poor behavior. Um, so, however, back to uh, Texas with a power grid which is completely separate from the rest of the U.S. power grid, except for some reason El Paso, who get their power from the grid, and of course they have power. So following the far-right GOP model of governing, Texas Governor Greg Abbott jumped, jumped to point the finger and to point the blame at ERCOT's managers. So let's see what the cards have to say about that. I'm going to be using today the Albano uh, White Weight Tarot. Albano Weight Tarot. And uh, they're a very uh, colorful uh, group of cards. And if I need clarifiers, I've actually included this uh, really neat deck called Witch's Tarot. So we'll see how all this comes out. I'll just put the laptop down and we'll get to business on Greg Abbott's responsibility in this um, Texas power catastrophe. Shuffle the cards. So I really like these cards. cards. I got them because the name of them reminds me of someone who's uh, pretty important in my life. And um, so I thought uh, they'd be interesting to look at. Uh, I haven't used these much. I kind of keep them in another room that's a little dark because they're bright colored cards and they have a nice white back and uh, they're easy to see in that room which like I said is a little dark but uh, we'll give these a good shuffle and uh, cut them a few times maybe cut them once or twice and uh, shuffle again this will be the typical Celtic cross which I wasn't sure which of the um, formats uh, would be more comfortable for me and it seems like the Celtic cross works really well all the um, the positions for the uh, responsibility of the cards uh, message just seems to flow pretty well. Although I have to say, I really love Ellie Dreams Down Un Dream Down Under, uh, her uh, format, which she came up completely on her own, and it's very clear and works for the screen. But I just feel like I'd be stealing her. Oh, look at that! I've got these in the wrong way. Stealing her uh, thunder by taking over her uh, format. But I'm sure she wouldn't mind if I did. She's a lovely person. Wouldn't it be amazing to live on a cul-de-sac with uh, all your favorite? Uh, YouTube folks uh, right next door so you could uh, you know just walk over and have a cup of tea or have a, a conversation with them when you needed to get some clarification in your life I think that'd be pretty cool we'll do one more shuffle that came out nicely and then we'll start to do a divination here so Greg Abbott what is his responsibility in this Texas electric power grid catastrophe except El Paso so we'll spread the cards out take six out out of here for our first part of our Celtic cross and uh, so here's one two 
three, four, five, and six. So that's great. Collect these up, put them off to the side. My goodness, they're being, they really want to have something to say today, these cards. Put these together. And when I scoop them up together, if they don't come together in the way I, I, I pull them out of the deck, I just say that's that's fate. That's a, Then they've come together the way they're supposed to come together. The first card on this, and remember, we're asking, what is Greg Abbott, governor of Texas, what's his responsibility uh, towards this electric power catastrophe that they're having over there? Except I'll pass it. Okay, so the first card we have is the devil. So, you know, the devil uh, speaks to being chained to... Um, mis mischievous or, or or not the best uh, influences in in making in your decisions or leading your life, and you can see that uh, it's very clear. If I, if you got the devil as your signifier, that's not a good a good sign. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> the devil is a signifier. Now the challenge to that devil and uh, and what he makes people do is going to be keeping the uh, balls in the air. This is the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles, uh, and did you see the great colors in these cards? I mean, I just like them. They're very clear. And of course, they, this is Pamela Coleman Smith's uh, signature, who of course designed these uh, basic outlines. And then some of these folks, the uh, Albano Weight Tarot, they've come in and recolored the cards more to their liking uh, rather than um, Pamela Coleman Smith. So the challenge to the devil then is keeping the balls in the air. Of course it is. If you've got the devil uh, making decisions for you and you're trying to lead a government, you know, how long is it going to be before something falls uh, by the wayside? The base of that reading then is going to be the star. And uh, I would say in this case, uh, Greg, Greg Abbott has shown through as a star. He's a disabled American. He leads the uh, Texas government from his wheelchair, which is very admirable. And uh, he's a force to be reckoned with. Um, this star is balancing uh, their abilities between stability and emotion, and the star certainly is representative of Texas. So that's the base of that reading. Now the past for Greg Abbott in this responsibility is that it looks like he's had, you know, victories. He's had quite a few notable victories, and I would say that's clear in his in his uh, in how Texas feels about him as their governor. In the sky, then, for Greg Abbott, is wondering if you've done enough. This is the Seven of Pentacles, and this fella, Greg Abbott, is standing back, looking at what he's done, and saying, have I done enough? Do I need to go back and do more? Yes, Greg, you should have been doing more. <laughs> That's my little comment. And then in the uh, future for him in this regard is the Knight of Wands, so bringing forth an action. And he has done that. He's brought forth some action. He's blamed the managers of the uh, grid. Insanity. You know, why wasn't the government looking out for everyone instead of uh, pushing it off to someone else? I'm going to have to answer my phone because I have had an important uh, message come through, but I'll just let them know that I'm going to deal with it in a second. Now, the next uh, part of this reading, then, is going to be the now the self of Greg Abbott in this in this catastrophe the first card of that is going to be looking back at the past and of course you know when you he's got a very prosperous state this guy's got tons of money coming in and uh, he's looking back and thinking wow things were really rosy and I wish it was like that again who wouldn't be in a time like this so that's pretty clear but it's in the environment of a broken heart and um, the Three of Swords is just an environment of really heartbreak and, and trauma and things not going at all the way you had hoped they would. That's a, a valid environment uh, for this reading. And then the hopes and the fears for him is the, uh, agree the Two of Cups, which are agreements, cooperation between people. And maybe this is him coming in after, a little too late, Greg, buddy, coming in after to uh, blame the uh, ERCOT, blame ERCOT, which is the, what is the name? It stands for the Electric Reliability Council of Texas. So let's blame the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, but we'll partner up with them now that we have an issue and see what we can get done. That's his hopes and his fears. So, and then in the sky for him, and I've broken my darn pointer. I'll have to go back and fix that later. 
but in the sky for Greg Abbott is the Page of Pentacles. And you know, a page is very weak. He can only bring an issue to court. And so he's bringing a small, looks to me like a very small pentacle into this situation for um, issue. So again, typical of the GOP uh, management strategy, stay out as much as possible, kick a little can into the circle and see if somebody picks it up and does something with it. While of course, you're still blaming uh, others for um, the mess that's happened. So no clarifiers needed here. This looks pretty clear to me. I hope that resonated with you. It certainly did seem very uh, matter of fact to me, but uh, I'll just finish this with saying that I'm Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Thank you so much for coming and going on the journey with me. I hope you'll come by again. And I really, really appreciate that you're being here. Keep your spirits up. I, I know you did. I know you subscribed. I just wanted to remind you. Okay. Thanks.